In this video, we're going to look at how we can import the Power Automate Visual into Power BI, three use cases for using Power Automate, and the basic formatting of the visual itself. For those who aren't familiar with Power Automate, Power Automate is a standalone tool within the Microsoft 365 apps ecosystem and is used for automating workflows between apps and services for file synchronization, notifications, and data collection. Today, we're going to be using mock social media data and analyzing views by location. We'll use Power Automate to power up our visualizations and receive Teams and email messages and notifications, both general and conditionally, depending on the amount of views we have. So the Power Automate visual comes as one of the standard Power BI visualizations, so we can click or drag this into a report simply drag in the fields that we want to be reflected within our, our workflow or automation. And then we can go and actually head into the, the Power Automate GUI. That's what it'll take us into. And we have a range of pre-made templates or we can make workflows from scratch. In our first example, we'll look at a pre-made template. And after that, we'll go into creating our own ones from scratch and show the power of these and how these can be more beneficial. So to introduce you to the basic functionality, we're going to use a template and we're going to post a message as the flow bot to a user. So essentially we designate a user. In our use case, I've obviously put myself, but the primary target would probably be someone from the marketing team as they should action this. And we're going to add a message and a heading but what's important to note is that we want this to be dynamic. So we have these range of buttons that we can select from our data source to reflect the dynamic total views by location. So in this first example, we're just going to list these and send it within Teams. And afterwards, we'll look at how we can improve and build on this. So you can see that I get, when I trigger this flow, I get quite a messy array of Power Automate notifications within my chat. If we zoom in and look at these, you can see that we're simply just reflecting locations and the number of views they have uh, within our social media channel. Uh, and this is a good reminder. It's already good in itself. We could go in weekly and click on this and compare, but it's not presented in the most clean data and we're not really drilling down on our insights. So we're going to create custom flows and we're going to look at how we can do some of these things. So in this next example, we're going to create a custom flow and we're actually going to introduce a condition. Now, in layman's terms, this condition, we're going to say that the marketing department have deemed any location with over 400 views equal to or over 400 views is is a successful campaign in that area so we want to report on these let's say weekly when we look at this report we can just quickly run the flow and we can get a message or a notification so i'm going to build something that enables us to do this and if you pay attention and follow along you'll see i'm introducing more dynamic content such as the username the time stamp you know the date and time and we're still going to add some boilerplate text and we're going to introduce the location and the, the total views as we did before. So a lot of the core components are the same, but this is going to add a lot more power.
So if we look at the team's message now and compare it to before, it's a lot cleaner, it's a lot more nicely formatted. We could adjust that timestamp or change it out, um, but even, even right now it's a massive improvement and we're getting the insights on our best performer. We want to start taking our existing Power BI data, data. we want to improve on the insights, and then we also want to start to automate things. So this is a great way to do that. Okay, so for this last stage of the video, I'm going to speed it up and we're going to look at how we can use email notifications to show our failed location campaigns. So we'll, we'll select a value with a condition and we'll send out an email notification uh, and we'll check how this looks. You know, it's another use case. It's important to note that with these sorts of things, we can even populate Excel tables using Power Automate. There's so many notification and SharePoint opportunities. So take these core concepts that I'm displaying and feel free to try it out. As always, if you like this content or find it helpful, please like, subscribe, comment and share. Thank you.